author Taslima Nasreen also joins us uh, on the broadcast. And ma'am, when you look at these images and when you hear about the stabbing of Salman Rushdie, what comes to your mind? You've also been a target, ma'am. Yeah, I am really worried. Because Salman Rushdie has been living in the western country where he uh, has been, uh, you know, protected since 1989. And uh, he got highest security there and if he is attacked then the we the people who are critical of Islam can be attacked and I'm really worried worried for myself and worried for the other progressive free thinkers in what is Muslim your concern at this stage you said you are worried for Salman Rushdie uh, is is in, in your thinking, is this linked, or could this be linked uh, to uh, the, his book, the, Satan, uh, the Satanic Verses? Because one, that's a matter of investigation. Two, what is your fear, uh, Taslima Nasreen? Because I had been uh, a target of, uh, you know, Islamists. They, they issued fatwas against me. They have demanded execution by hanging, and also they, they wanted to kill me, those, those terror, Islamic terrorists. So I'm worried for Salman Rushdie and also worried for myself and other critics of Islam. Many people who are critical of Islam, who want, uh, you know, reformation of Islam, they have been living in the, not living in the West, but they have been living in the, in Muslim countries or also in the subcontinent, where we are not getting the security like uh, Salman Rushdie. So people who are even protected and people who are not even uh, not protected, I think we are all in danger. That's a very big point you're making. You're saying those who may have security or those who may not have security are in equal danger. Ma'am, in your, in your context, where do you see the danger coming from? What's the danger to your life or what's the danger to life of authors like Salman Rushdie? You know, Islamic terrorists are everywhere. They are in the Western countries, they are in the subcontinent, they are in the Muslim countries, they are everywhere in the world. So the critic, uh, the, you know, the progressive people uh, who are critical of Islam, they are always targeted. You know, in Bangladesh, how many, how many critics of Islam were hacked to death? Yes. You know? So it is much easier to kill... Uh, people in the, uh, people means, uh, uh, the people who are critical of Islam in the uh, in Muslim countries and also in the, in the subcontinent, many people could be killed in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, uh, progressive uh, free thinkers were killed because they were critical of religion, critical of Islam. So if Western countries, in, in the Western countries, if they are not safe, then where they would be safe? You've been targeted even in India, but the point that you make is that uh, authors like Salman Rushdie were not even safe in a country like the United States of America. Where is the problem? And in your appreciation, what could the solution be? Uh, Islam should not be used uh, for policy. I think that political Islam is very dangerous. Uh, people can believe in religion, people can believe in Islam, but the problem is that the, the, the rulers of the Muslim countries and also uh, in many countries, they use religion for their, uh, uh, you know, for their political gain. So, and they build madrasas and mosques, lots of madrasas and mosques who are breeding ground for uh, Islamic terrorism. I think that now the world the, especially the, uh, the, the international communities and the, the rulers of the Muslim countries should uh, rethink about how they should, you know, they should guide their, their young people, people. Because these young people are derailed. They become fundamentalists and they become terrorists. And it has to be stopped. And uh, uh, politicians must play a role to stop the... Uh, Islamic fundamentalism. Taslima, you wrote a book, Lajja, which was such an, such an important book for humanity. 
and yet you were hounded out, whether it was from Bangladesh or even in India you faced targeting despite the support that's come from public. Uh, Salman Rushdie has been in a similar situation because of satanic verses since 1988. Do tell us about the fear that you've also faced from constant threats, attacks, fatwas that have been issued against you as well. Yes. But Lagda, you know, I defended Hindu minority community who were attacked uh, by Muslim fanatics in Bangladesh in 1990. Uh, I wrote the book in 1993 after demolition of Babri Mosque. But that was not against Islam. But my other books, my other books are critical, where I'm critical of uh, Islam, um, <clears throat> that the Chugli made fundamental is very angry with me and they issued fatwas against me you know um, I have been targeted you know since 1990 90, in the beginning of 90s so, uh, so I am worried you know it is not that they, 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 they issued fatwas against me long time ago and they uh, have forgotten me no not like this they never forgot you know, they, 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 will, they will kill me if they get any chance. And many bloggers in, in Bangladesh who were, you know, yes. who, who, who followed my, uh, you know, kind of, kind of uh, influenced by me, who were influenced by me, and also who were critical of Islam, they were, all, they, they were, they were hacked to death, you know. So I think that it is, it is, uh, urgently necessary for the Muslim rulers and the, and the, wherever the Muslims are majority, minority, or even the minority, I think that um, yes. they should, uh, everything should be taken seriously that whether uh, they should be... Taslima, uh, all I will say is, you know, you've been very brave, you've documented what needed to be said and despite fear, you continue to stand by your words. Uh,